Hello there, I'm Sebi from Holotech Studios, and in this video I will teach you how to import a 3D character model into the Animes Editor and export it to the Animes Mobile app as a functioning avatar. We will be importing a sample avatar which you can download from our website to follow along. Go to animes.us slash editor and click download sample avatars. Now, let's get started. Open the Animes Editor on your PC. Take note of the hierarchy panel on the left side of your screen, the viewport in the center, and the editor panel on the right. To start the process we need to locate our avatar files and load them into the editor. Go to assets in the top menu bar, select import 3D object, and locate your avatars folder. We're looking for a file called avatarfrogtest.fbx. Once found, go ahead and double click the file or select it and hit open. Make sure the animations folder, the textures folder, and the .fbx file are all checked. You'll also want to make sure that the import as selector in the bottom left corner is set to avatar 3D. All good? Let's click import. Once the editor finishes loading everything, it will list any missing skeletal animations in the import issues list. Our frog avatar uses blend shape animation instead of skeletal animations, so you can simply close the window by clicking the X in the top right corner. To learn more about the import issues list, check out the how to import a 3D avatar section of our documentation. Next, the editor will display the full import log. This log surfaces errors that assist in debugging. For now, simply click OK to dismiss it. Great, here's our avatar. Let's go through its details to assign all the textures and set the parameters up just right for it to work flawlessly in the anime's mobile app. Go ahead and click the avatar's name in the hierarchy panel. When you import an avatar or prop in the editor, its dimensions may vary, causing it to be too big to view properly or even impact performance. If your avatar is appropriately sized, grid lines will be visible in the viewport that you can use to precisely measure the scale of your avatar. In this case, our avatar is too large. We need to scale it down until we can see the grid lines to judge its appropriate size. Navigate to the item scale selector in the editor panel on the right and change the value from 1 to 0 0.005. Now that the avatar has shrunk, we need to reset the camera to view it properly. Right click on the avatar's name in the hierarchy panel on the left and select reset camera. Here are the grid lines I mentioned earlier, creating a tiled floor underneath the avatar. Generally, avatars should be between 1 to 2 tiles wide and less than 2 tiles tall. With the updated item scale value, our avatar is within bounds, so let's move on. Now we are going to improve the look of the avatar by making some changes to each mesh. In animes, each mesh supports a single material. Each material can have multiple components. Each component can include textures and render properties. To learn more about how animes handle meshes, materials, components, and textures, consult the Materials and Textures section of our .avatar technical documentation. Next up, for this avatar we will start by applying the diffuse texture, normal map, and specular map components to each material and assigning their respective textures. Adding material components to your materials increases the visual fidelity of your avatar. First, tap the plus icon next to the avatar's name in the hierarchy panel. Then, select a mesh by clicking on its name in the hierarchy panel or by clicking on the actual element itself in the viewport. Let's select the lilypad underscore leaf underscore geo mesh. The material properties for the mesh will show up in the editor panel on the right. You can see that the mesh name and material name are listed at the top of the panel with material properties and components below. Let's add a diffuse texture to the material which will apply the right base color. Scroll down in the editor panel to the diffuse texture section and click the header to expand it. Then, click the diffuse texture box and all the imported textures for the avatar will appear in a new window. Next, let's select the appropriate diffuse texture for this material. This will be the test underscore leaf underscore d dot tga file. Time to add the normal mapping texture to the material. Scroll down in the editor panel to the normal mapping section and click the header to expand it. Then, click the normal texture box and select the test underscore leaf underscore b dot tga file. Let's assign a texture to the specular map next, which controls how reflections behave on the surface. In the editor panel, scroll down to the specular mapping section and click the header to expand it. Click the specular texture box and select the test underscore leaf underscore s dot tga texture from the newly opened window. You'll notice that the leaf has a black outline. This is due to the settings of one of the material properties called the render queue. The render queue allows you to change how surfaces are displayed by affecting their opacity and render order. To fix the material's appearance, scroll up to the Render Cube property in the Editor panel and change the drop-down selection from Opaque to Blended to make sure that the three textures are properly displayed. Now it's time to apply the appropriate Diffuse Texture, Normal Map and Specular Map to the material components of the avatar's other meshes. 
Consult this table to see which texture applies to each material component for the frog avatar. Note the existence of the body and the body underscore one meshes. Body underscore one was automatically created by the editor because in our source files from Maya, the body mesh has two materials. Anime supports one material per mesh, so it created the body underscore one mesh to accommodate the second material. When you are finished assigning the diffuse texture, normal map, and specular map for each material, you are ready to add the additional components, listed in the table here as white text. These materials are unique to animate, so follow closely. Go ahead and pause the video to make sure all the textures are in the right place before moving on. The order in which you add these additional material components does not matter. We are simply going to go down the list of meshes listed in the hierarchy panel from top to bottom. First, we'll add the fake mouth AO component to the tongue underscore geo mesh. This component creates ambient occlusion in the mouth as it gradually opens and closes. It is referred to as fake because the ambient occlusion is not computed in real time. First, select the tongue underscore geo mesh in the hierarchy panel. In the editor panel on the right, click the add component button at the top. Now click the checkbox next to the fake mouth AO component so it is checked, then hit OK. Now we'll apply the appropriate texture to the fake mouth AO component. In the editor panel, scroll down to a new section titled Fake Mouth AO and click the header to expand it. Click the box that says No Texture and add the appropriate texture to this component. For our sample avatar, the texture is called Test underscore Tongue underscore AO. Next, we'll add specular normal mapping to the eyes mesh. This component is used for computing specular reflection. First, select the eyes mesh in the hierarchy panel. Then, in the editor panel on the right, click the Add Component button and the Add Component window will appear again. Click the checkbox next to the specular normal mapping component so it is checked, and hit OK again. Now we'll apply the appropriate texture to this component. In the editor panel, scroll down to a new section titled Specular Normal Mapping and click the header to expand it. Click the box that says No Textures and add the appropriate texture to this component. Look for the texture called Test underscore Eyes underscore Spec underscore B. It's time to add the subsurface scattering component to the body mesh. This will allow light to penetrate the frog's skin, making him look more realistic. First, select the body mesh in the hierarchy panel. Then, in the editor panel, click Add Component and check the STR Subsurface Scattering option. Then hit OK again to add the component to the mesh. Next, let's apply the appropriate texture to the subsurface scattering component. In the editor panel, scroll down to a new section titled STR Subsurface Scattering and click the header to expand it. Then, click the box that says No Texture again and add the test underscore body underscore sc texture. Time to add the fake mouth AO component to the body underscore one mesh. First, select the body underscore one mesh in the hierarchy panel. Then move to the editor panel on the right, click add component, and check the fake mouth AO box, then press OK to add the component to the mesh. Last but not least, head to the editor panel again, scroll down to a new section titled fake mouth AO, and click the header to expand it. Go ahead and click the box that says no texture and add the test underscore tongue underscore AO texture to the component. Now that we've applied all the correct textures, we need to save our work. Right click the avatar's name in the hierarchy panel and select save all materials. If you don't save your materials, none of your changes will apply to the avatar when you export it, then you'll have to redo all of your texture and material components customization. Make sure you never skip this step. A pop-up will appear confirming your materials have been saved, so go ahead and click OK. And congratulations, you have successfully imported the test avatar. Now that your avatar is fully imported, we can export it to the Animes app and start using it. Before you get started, make sure that your iPhone running the Animes app and the PC running the Animes editor are connected to the same Wi-Fi or LAN network. You'll also need access to our Artist Pass subscription in the mobile app. Ensure you have purchased the subscription before continuing. If you received the promo code for the Artist Pass, now is the perfect time to redeem it. Let's connect our devices. Go to Tools and select Local Connect. Now click Start and the editor will generate a QR code. The QR code will be displayed until you click the Stop button. For now, leave the QR code up. Next, open the Animes app on your iPhone. Tap the gear icon in the top right corner and select Restore Purchases to make sure your Artist Pass subscription is active. All we have to do now is tap the blue text that says Connect next to Connect to Editor point the iPhone's camera at the QR code, and that's it! We're now connected to the editor. You will see a confirmation message in both the app and the editor. Now let's head back into the Animes editor, right-click on the avatar's name in the hierarchy panel and select Send to Device. 
A pop-up will appear on your iPhone, so go ahead and tap yes, and the file transfer will begin immediately. Once the transfer is complete, you'll once again see a confirmation message in both the app and the editor. To use your newly imported avatar, tap the avatars button on the home screen of the mobile app, navigate to the imported section of the gallery, tap your avatar and hit the green check mark to load it. And that's it, why not record a quick video to show it off? Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial helpful, and as always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask them on our Discord server or email us at support at All the best from everybody here at Holotech Studios.